Two areas that are vital to you when you're going to be using Revit are the properties and the project browser. Now, one of the things to know about the properties and project browser is that they don't have to be located where they currently are on the screen. If you click on just the title of one of them, you can hold your mouse button down and then you can drag this off and then let go and you'll see that the properties or the project browser, depending on which one that you selected, can get pulled off. It can then get moved to another spot on the screen. It can go to another monitor if you want. So as a result of that, you can do all of your drawing on one monitor. And if you have a second monitor, the project browser and properties can be over there on the other monitor just sitting out there in space. Also, if you do like the fact that those two were docked on top of each other the way that they were, I want to point out that there's an interesting thing that can accidentally happen. If you're moving around and you're starting to activate commands up here on the screen, you may accidentally click an X in the upper corner and close one of them down. If one of them ever gets closed down, it's not immediately evident how you get that to be brought back up again. So to get them back, come up here to the View tab, select on User Interface, and then look for the one that does not have a check mark next to it. In this case, it's my project browser, so I'm going to put a check next to it, and we can see that the project browser has come back. If I happen to be working in here again and accidentally close properties, I could do the same thing. Come underneath the user interface and put a check mark next to properties. Virtually everyone who has ever used Revit has accidentally closed one of these down at one time or another and wondered, how do I get these back? And that is the answer. Come up to view, user interface, and then put a check mark next to the appropriate thing. Finally, I also want to point out that these can both take up the exact same spot on the screen as well. In order to do that, you just select on one of these bars, pull it over so they're sort of directly on top of each other. And when you do that, the project browser and the properties will have tabs down at the bottom of the screen. And you can flip between those two tabs by just clicking on either properties or the project browser tab. So you can have them either on or off by clicking on the little X's. If you want to turn them back on again, you can come over here to the user interface and put a check mark next to them. And if you want to have them docked on top of each other, which is the way that I usually prefer to work, then you can drag them directly on top of each other, let go of your mouse button, and then the project browser, and then the properties buttons will be down here at the bottom of the screen, and then you can just click on the appropriate tab to execute the appropriate tools over on the side.